Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at a pod spec file. So pod spec is a configuration file that describes a pod. So that seems pretty clear. Um, remember, all files are manifest files, especially if they look like YAML for Kubernetes. Um, but here is an example of us um, defining a pod, but notice that it says spec down here below. So the spec section is what we care about, and that's what makes it a pod spec file. And I want you to know that this spec thing can show up in a service, or sorry, a component that is a kind of pod or deployment or a replica set, uh, probably also a stateful set. So just realize that's what I mean when I say pod spec file. We're talking about this section here. So uh, the idea is you can define multiple containers and you'll have the name of the container, the image here, which is Nginx. Um, the command to run on startup could be an option. It's not shown here. Uh, the port the container will operate on, the restart policy, which again, we don't have it displayed here, uh, and a variety of other things. So you can directly deploy a pod with kubectl apply command as we see here. So it's showing a pod, but in practice, you won't directly deploy pods. Instead, you'll use deployments or job as the kind. So in some um, uh, follow alongs, you will see people deploy pods just because they just don't wanna deal with deployment because they wanna be able to delete the pod and the pod not to spin back up again. Um, but yeah, you rarely ever would, never would ever make sense to deploy a pod without a deployment, okay?